Developed during World War II, radar rapidly became an airplane's worst enemy. By generating a pulse of energy that blankets a portion of sky, radar looks for any object that bounces back the energy it emits. The emitted signal bounces off the flying object, some of it coming straight back to the source. Conventionally, the same antenna is used for both transmitting and receiving. And though the signal returned is usually weak, it can easily be amplified. Because of this, radar can detect objects from greater distances than other sensors. Soviet and U.S. engineers engaged in a race to defeat radar. The key would be found in the analysis of radar wave diffraction, which eventually led to a eureka moment in a clandestine lab called the Skunk Works at Lockheed Martin's Advanced Development Projects Unit. If radar detects by bouncing back a signal, why not shape an aircraft so that it doesn't reflect anything straight back to the source of that radar signal? Low radar observability, the holy grail of stealth, was about to become a reality. The first truly stealthy plane was designed entirely of flat surfaces at irregular angles, which reflect incoming radar waves back and away from the radar source, effectively hiding it from an enemy's best means of detection. Its radar cross-section, although classified, is believed to be about the same as a small bird, the result? A plane that looked like no other. In addition to these design features, the F-117 is coated with radar absorbent material. This laminate-like material covers the Nighthawk's exterior. When they put those pieces of material on the airplane, they have to go back and, and uh, go over it and, and what we call butter the airplane so that you cover up the seams in between so that it's seamless all the way around the airplane. While still based on the principle of minimizing the return of the radar signature, supercomputers now permit designs that are both stealthy and aerodynamic. Instead of coating the F-22 and F-35 with radar absorbent materials, the metals themselves are newly created to be inherently radar absorbent. Some designers are looking even further into the future to see whether emerging technologies might hold the key to future stealth. Some of these seem to come straight from science fiction, like using a plasma shield to create a kind of cloaking device one that uses ionized gas to reduce an aircraft's radar cross-section. Plasma is the fourth state of matter, the result of ionizing a gas. It makes up 99% of the visible matter we see in the universe. It's found in our sun, the stars we see at night, the flame of a candle. Scientists are currently testing potential applications for cold plasma and have found it to have radar absorbent qualities. Plasma absorbs, not only absorbs, but absorbs in a wide range of frequency. So even if you have a radar that keeps changing its frequency, the, it could still fall within the range of frequencies that plasma can absorb. In the future, electrodes embedded in the aircraft could be switched on to charge the skin of the craft causing the gas in the surrounding atmosphere to ionize and make plasma. This coating could, with the help of a computer, rapidly change its density to absorb any potential radar frequency. You can make it denser or thicker or change uh, density uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, this is probably not feasible today, but uh, there is no uh, uh, say where it can uh, uh, go in the future. 